Hey, good morning. Today is Monday, May 4th, and this is day 29 of our virtual learning initiative here at North Hunter High School. And this video is for crime and justice. Good morning, guys. Hope you all had a great weekend. Uh, this video is our weekly video just talking about what we can expect or what I'd like you to do for this week. Uh, last week, uh, we had the first half or the first 10 slides of the Index Crimes PowerPoint uh, plus a current event. Uh, this week, I'm going to let you guys off super easy. And all I'm asking you to do is to actually finish the Index Crimes PowerPoint. Um, now, I received some feedback from people um, who said that they liked the PowerPoint so far. They thought it was kind of interesting. Uh, hopefully, you guys haven't had any issues navigating uh, the links and or the different slides and the uh, additional information, which makes this PowerPoint uh, fun as opposed to uh, kind of just reading the, the words and, and moving on. All right. Uh, so last week, I asked you guys to read up through the first 10 slides, which would finish at the second index crime. Uh, and that is the crime of rape. So you guys had a chance to look at murder uh, and rape as well as the examples. Um, obviously, the story of Mary Kay Letourneau uh, and her, I believe now they are divorced uh, husband is a wild one. Uh, it's pretty crazy stuff, stuff that you would see, feel like it's only a made for TV. Um, but uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed kind of learning about that. This week, what I'd like you to do is to finish up the PowerPoint. And I'm not actually going to be giving you guys a written assignment this week. Um, I'll, I'll let you off uh, for this week. The reason being is that in this PowerPoint, there's a couple of videos uh, that go along with each slide that I think you guys will find uh, very, very interesting. Okay, so the first thing is you're going to go over robbery uh, or the difference between robbery and burglary. The biggest difference is this. Um, the hamburglar steals things when you're not around, right? So you'll see a picture of the hamburglar. Most of you probably have no idea who that is. The hamburglar was old when I was a kid, um, but he used to steal hamburgers or cheeseburgers from McDonald's. Uh, I did include, I think, a little video of the hamburger for you. So uh, for reference, so check it out. Um, but burglary is when your home or property or vehicle, whatever it might be, is robbed without any individual present. Okay, Robbery is when someone robs your person or multiple individuals in one event. Uh, so you guys check that out. Watch those videos. It's pretty good stuff. Um, you're also going to learn about what larceny is. Larceny and theft are pretty much the same thing. Uh, and there is an absolutely crazy case of larceny uh, with Dr. Ricardo Ash, who is a fertility doctor who was stealing uh, women's uh, embryos okay, and then using them uh, in other patients. And he was just kind of like playing God and selling uh, other people's eggs and things like that. And so uh, it's pretty nuts. It's all in the PowerPoint. Check that out. Uh, the last thing you're going to learn about in this is, uh, sorry, we have motor vehicle theft uh, and then we have arson. I have a little video for you guys about like what a chop shop is. Um, they interview National Geographic, I believe, interviews a leader of a chop shop and he kind of talks to you a little bit about that. So that's pretty interesting. And then the last one is arson. Um, I put the cover of a movie on there. Okay. Um, called... It was called Point of Origin. Okay, it's a movie that Ray Liotta plays, and it's about this firefighter um, who uh, wanted to be uh, like detective or whatever, uh, couldn't do that, so he became a firefighter. Uh, and then all of a sudden, he just magically keeps finding these fires. He's the first one on the scene, finds the origin of the fire, whatever it might be. And it turns out he's actually an arsonist who's a firefighter, and he goes and like stops the fires that he sets and all this other stuff. Um, so that's pretty interesting. Uh, there is a YouTube video in there for you guys to check out as well. Um, with that being said, um, in the... No, that's it. I think you're good. Oh, yeah. In the infamous Thieves video, um, one of the pictures in a YouTube video is actually not a picture um, of Bertie Smalls. It was a picture of a uh, famous guitarist, I believe, in Spinal Tap. So I just want, for those who are going to watch that, you're like, wait a minute, this isn't, it's not real. Um, it, that's the one thing in the video uh, that is inaccurate. Uh, the rest of it, though, is pretty good. So the Infamous Thieves, check that video out. Uh, Arsonists, uh, you've got the case of Dr. Ricardo Ash, um, who worked at a UC Irving uh, clinic, okay? Uh, and then you've got the uh, carjacking, fail where someone tried to steal a car and then the guy got locked in the car. That's actually pretty funny to check that out. Uh, and then the chop shops from the Nat Geo. All right. Hope you guys are all doing well. Uh, I will have a link for uh, office hours um, this week. I'll have office hours on Tuesday from 11 to 1130 and Thursday from 11 to 1130. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, you want to go over any assignments, you want to talk about things inside of the PowerPoint, whatever it might be, I'll put the Zoom links in Google Classroom for you. 
you can come on in, stop on in, say hello, uh, and I'll be able to answer any questions you might have. Hope you are all doing well. Uh, stay safe, guys. Enjoy the beautiful weather. Get outside. Uh, have a great day. See you later. Bye-bye.